So what yeah. are some of your what are some of your uh, favorite or I don't know like what are some of the things that you actually like about these fan games? Because I haven't played too many myself. I played a couple growing up, but they're always like from they're always like in the Gen two, Gen three, Gen four engine. Um, but they've gotten so intricate in the last ten years. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of the time it, it comes down to a few different aspects. Like when I think of my favorite games, I think of like Pokemon Xenoverse is, is really at the top of the list. I think of Pokemon like Insurgents is another one that I really enjoyed. There's a handful of them, right? There's so many good ones. Uh, I think there's a few things. One, I like the difficulty increase. That's sure. a big thing for me as someone who, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty adept player, right? Like I understand the game. Right. I, I know the mechanics have competed, you know, at some of the highest levels of Pokemon. I, I don't need my handheld anymore, but I, I can recognize that I'm not the average consumer mm -hmm. of a Pokemon game. So the fan games will often cater to that, right? They will often have increased AI or they'll have a, a tougher, you know, challenges and things like that. And they'll actually be a challenge, right? Uh, I also really like diversity of Pokemon, especially in the early game. Um, that's a that's a big one for me. Being able to have a wide range of Pokemon to choose a team from is always a win, especially when Nuzlocking. Um, and I think a lot of the times the stories aren't afraid to get a little, uh, a little outside, you know, kind of what you would sure. normally expect. I love fan-made Pokemon, right? Like that was always a big thing for me is fan-made Pokemon, fan-made regional forms, that stuff. I mean, that was a huge inspiration for me, right? In, in starting Elestral. So all, all that stuff is really the things that highlight to me. Um, and it's a fresh experience, right? You, you're playing something that, you yeah. know, chances are, you know, most people haven't played as a creator when I'm creating something. Yeah, there's a subset of my audience who's played it and they're always great to help me along when I get stuck or whatever it may be. But the majority of the people watching probably haven't come across this game before, which creates this new exciting situation as opposed to when I'm like, all right, here's, uh, you know, episode 17 of my black and white Nuzlocke. And it's like, yeah, that's great. And that's a fun experience. But, you know, we've got 807 black and white Nuzlocke that are that are existing. Right, there. sure, right. sure. You know, how much different can my experience really be uh, you know, then, then kind of that. So, so I think for me as a, as a creator, the fan games have always kind of been a highlight. And I, I think now having created my own game and like really focusing on that, I even more so now than ever before have such an appreciation for the people who put their time into yeah. that. Cause I know mm -hmm. just how hard it is. Right. And like, they're doing it all just, just out of pure passion. Right. Yeah. And I think that that's very admirable. Yeah.